Hello everybody, Threadpanda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing City Folk for a Year. Right now in Sexville, it's 4.30 p.m. on May 8th, 2012, and we're gonna get started! And I'm Jake, as we all know, and guys, I had a pretty interesting day today, as I mentioned in yesterday's episode. Today I had an interview at CBS in Chicago. And I did, when did that today, I caught the 7 o'clock train, got a cup of coffee, some, some treats, and I, uh, I went ahead and went and did my interview, and it went really, really, really well. i um, pretty sure I actually got the job. Um, it's obviously not guaranteed yet. Um, but, you know, I can always assume the best, um, which I am. Um, I had the first interview. Um, I already told me I'm going to have a second interview as well with uh, her supervisor so if all goes well I should be working at, C at CBS for the summer um, getting to do you know, some editing some shooting uh, just general stuff so I'm really excited about that um, seems like a really cool place to work lots of really awesome people there and I'm just really really excited about it um, I did have to show my YouTube channel which was kind of awkward because oh god dang it because she wanted to know what kind of stuff I've done so I showed her like some of my actual video stuff and then obviously on my resume it shows that I'm a YouTube partner and she's like well, what does that entail and I walked her through everything I showed her my videos I explained to her you know it's just video game commentaries it doesn't actually reflect on my work um, at least most of it doesn't and I basically told her that this is basically just how I've learned how to produce, you know, a show, how to put, you know, how to please an audience, stuff like that. She actually seemed to like it a lot, so that was pretty cool. Um, and it's always, it's very interesting to me, the fact that you can actually use something like a YouTube channel um, to get a lot of, ex to get a lot of real world experience, especially in the media. Um, so I was pretty happy about all that. Uh, after my interview, I, my, I have a, my second uncle, yeah. My second uncle works there, and that's actually how I got my foot in the door. Um, he mentioned me to her and got me in for an interview, which is awesome. Um, then he took me out for some more coffee, and then I came home and I had some more coffee. So I've had a lot of coffee <laughs> for the last couple days. Um, not that I really need it, to be completely honest, but whatever. Coffee's delicious, so. Um, what the hell? Oh. And I still haven't eaten any food, really, other than what I had for breakfast, which is really frustrating, because I am starving right now. We just don't have that much food in my house. I'll probably find something, though. If I have to eat Pop-Tarts, I guess I will. I just really hate eating Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Not that I think Pop-Tarts are gross or anything. Ooh, I found Nemo! I found Nemo! Aww. I'm gonna cook him and eat him. Oh, that's awesome. I love Finding Nemo. I'm a little bummed that they're re-releasing it in 3D. Just because I think it's so cheap. Like, just re-releasing a film in 3D just to get some extra money off of it. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure it made all its money back. I mean, almost every Pixar movie that comes out, you know, makes plenty of money back. Um, as far as budgeting goes. Then again, I don't really know, but I'd imagine it's made its money back tenfold. And if it hasn't, oops, I was not paying attention. Another movie I was curious about, which actually I kind of want to look up right now, is I want to know how much The Avengers made. Um, I don't know, I, I know I mentioned it a couple days ago, so I won't really get into it right now, but I was wondering if you guys saw The Avengers yet. And if so, oh god, dang it. And if so, what did you think about it? Okay, so, oh, crap, oh, my God. Made $207 million. That's pretty awesome. $207 million is quite a bit. Um, I don't remember what the budget of it was. I feel like the budget was $300 million, something like that. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to really worry about it right now. I, I'm just curious. I think the budget was $300 million. That's what I thought I heard. Hmm. Come on, fish. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. But yeah, 200 million is really good for an opening weekend. Um, especially an opening weekend. Well, then again, I guess it was good because a lot of kids are coming back home from college. 
and a lot of parent... Well, I don't know. I feel like it'll still do $100 million. Like, just, you know, by next week. Which is good. Because, I, like I said, I, I loved the movie. I thought it was so good. So I really hope it makes tons and tons of money. Because it totally deserves it. It was a great film. And yeah, I, I mean, I mean, it wasn't just, Oh yeah, I finally caught this snail. Seriously though, could you fail to catch a snail? Yeah, I actually can. I did, like, twice. It's pretty pathetic. But I did catch Nemo, so I don't really care about anything else. Oh god, I can't get anything. I figured if I'm dressed like a kappa, they may be more likely to bite since they trust me. I wonder if Kappen interacts with you any differently if you are dressed like a kappa. I'm very curious. Oh my god, a zebra turkey fish. Gobble, gobble. Uh, swap it with... I don't really need the black base bass. I actually, I don't need the freaking paper. God, why do I carry that stuff around with me? Um, okay. So might as well go take all this stuff over to Blathers. Because I would really like to try and finish the aquarium, even though I don't even think it's possible at this point. This is just another carp, I'm going to be kind of mad. If it even turns this way. God dang it. But yeah, I wanted to apologize too. I know I haven't uploaded um, very many videos as of late. Um, and that's... Damn it. And that's basically just because I've been so busy. I mean, I know school's out and I shouldn't be busy anymore, but I totally am so busy. Um, I should have another Earthbound uploaded tomorrow. And a lot of you voted, and I totally took all your votes into consideration. And I'm going to be continuing Paper Mario very soon. Um, probably this week. I'm going I'm to try and... Because for those of you who were there, I did stream uh, to get... I, I streamed myself playing the game, trying to get to where I was at in the previous game so, uh, save. So, oh shoot! Does the money stay here? I don't think it does. Uh, I'll just drop some stuff real quick. Okay. But yeah, Paper Mario should be starting soon. I just need to, like I said, get need to get my file back to where I was at before the accident occurred. By the accident, of course, I'm referring to my game file just completely... Or no, my recording getting screwed up and being lost forever. That was awful. I was so mad when that happened. Um, but it's okay now because I have a game file that's about to where I was. I just need to get to the rest of the way, do a little bit of level grinding to get basically to where I was before. But overall, I am ready to finish that Let's Play once and for all. I mean, seriously, it's a Let's Play that's been like a year in the making, which I recognize is pretty pathetic, seeing as how it's just Paper Mario. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Bladders, wake up! Alright. Donation. Hooty who is that so? Clownfish. Look at his big eyeball. Ah, clownfish, yes quite. Clownfish go hand in hand with sea anemones. What? A single clownfish family will take up residence in each sea in each sea anemone. Occasionally the clownfish will share some of its food with the landlord. All in all, it's a wonderfully and amiable oh my god. Amiable little fish who really knows how to treat its neighbors. That's pretty cool. See, I love learning about this stuff. Even though I already knew that. I already knew that, okay? I'll give him the snail next. I think he reacts to it as a bug. Yeah, because it's technically a bug. Yeah. Who I dare say is a stop to that for you. Leave me to be scared. If you didn't know. Ah, if you didn't know, here's a fact for you. Removing a snail's shell doesn't make it a slug. If you did try to pull off a snail shell, which I surely do not condone, its insides would spill out. Ew, ew gross. 
that's disgusting. Actually, that's true. That happened to me when I was a kid. I pulled, I, cause I thought that I pulled the shell off this, <laughs> the snail to become a slug. And oh god, I just, uh, I'm gonna throw up. Not really. It's a little dramatic. I don't remember if he has this or not. Ooh, Dave's number. Oh, yep. Um, humble bundle. Baba Baba. Uh, I'll just give you the zebra turkey fish. A zebra turkey fish, yes, quite. As its flash coloration suggests, the zebra turkey fish is poisonous. In other words, it's trying to tell you, touch me, and you're sure to be right. Or to be right, sorry, my fine friend. Its slow, deliberate swimming or style also suggests that this is one fish not to mess with. Cool. I think I knew that those things were poisonous. But I'm also pretty sure that's not the actual name of it. But what do I know? Uh, pretty sure he has a carp and a black bass, but I might as well try and give them both. Oh, cool. Keep it, Steve. The position far back in the mouth and can bite through seashells. I dare say you shouldn't go sticking your finger into a carp's mouth. What? That is a mighty chump. It dip, it dip, it 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 a bit. I can't, I can't speak. Sorry. Don't speak. I know just what you're thinking, and you ain't got no reason. Black bass is quite. Black bass sports tremendous strength for its size, making it a popular catch in sport fishing. The bass is so popular that there are even fishermen who specialize exclusively in catching bass. Hey, what? There are concerns about the effect of fishing on its habitat, but even so, this fish remains a favorite. Yay! We're part of the problem. But anyways, guys, that's all for donations, and I'm actually going to end the episode now. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Repanda Gamer. Please like this video, favorite this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to share love. Thank you guys so much for watching, and be on the lookout for Earthbound number... I don't know. 13? I think so. Yeah, Earthbound episode 13, tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Repanda Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!